All right. All right, here's the list of tools you need for the job. Uh, electric impact. I would not recommend using a drill with a chuck because it, uh, it's not going to do the same job getting bolts loose and tightened. That's the right there is for the take the, the uh, nut for the uh, blade and various other you need half, what, 9 16 half. 7 sixteenths, 3 eighths, and then um, I guess 5 sixteenths. That'll get pretty much all your bolts and I guess a Phillips screwdriver. And probably uh, most important, uh, need a, a beer. Uh, it serves two purposes. If everything goes good and you're done in an hour and a half, you can celebrate have a beer. Or if, uh, like normal, you have running into snags and you get a little frustrated, uh, it's a good, good time to crack a beer and to kind of cool yourself down. So that's what I find works the best. Good luck. Okay, I start out this season with having uh, my 475 long boy go down because of low oil or no oil in the gas. Uh, you can see here this, I think this what happened was is that that ring stuck and tipped. And that causes friction. Can't really see it too well. Snowmobile world, we call that a four corner stick because it expands too much. But other than that, uh, actually the crank and everything was fine on it and the, all the bearings were intact when it came to this one this is a, the six and a half Dura Force uh, basically what happened was that bearing rusted let go and then disintegrated from that point up and actually the cylinder is fine but Basically got this nice little replacement motor. It's called a short block. I just got throw my head on it. And away we should go. Okay, part of this stall I had to re reuse my head to get you get the uh, gasket kit so you're I'm replacing the head gasket. And I'm going to torque this to 15 pounds. I'm not sure if that's correct, but I think I'm pretty close. Someone else correct me. It's right ahead. That. Okay, I just ran into one of my first little snags. Um, um, had to readjust the pulley on the for the belt. I put it on; it was way too low, so I realized I had it in the wrong spot. So that's just a little tip. You might have to readjust that or turn to that position. So a little foot, and this is also time that you want to put the belt in place. If you wait, you'll forget about it and it'll be another hour to get it back on. So, just a little tip. Okay, just put on the exhaust and uh, you put that on first and then you mount the motor to your exhaust plate. Uh, it's kind of a challenge it compared to taking it apart. You don't have to worry about that. So, it takes a little finagling and forgetting to put the uh, the exhaust manifold gasket in place and this is the little piece that goes there and you hold that's held on with a little cap right here so I'm 
I'm just going to reuse this. And if it leaks, it leaks. So. But I think this is kind of the way of trying to quiet the motor down with a little baffle or something here. So. so. Okay, I just uh, had to make a makeshift stand here to get this, make it a little easier putting the motor up on some benches. Had to, uh, that's my little culprit right there that pulley needs to be reversed. So, but basically I take the exhaust out right there and then there's two bolts to hold it to that. Basically it's the muffler plate. Uh, then I found that the uh, little there's a little underneath there uh, where the, the uh, exhaust went through the little baffle was full of gas. So apparently my seat is not seating. You can see it dripping gas right there. So good. Th Actually, it's probably a good thing that I figured it out because uh, it would have flooded out or not run and. Normally it drip a little more than that when your seat keeps running, but it's kind of weird why it went down through the motor like that. So, at any rate, a quick uh, change this out. Exhaust bolts up in there. Well, actually, uh, just a little, little setback here. Now, the I had to pull the pulley installed the right way, just in the wrong. There's um, two notches or holes in that crankshaft where that little uh, set screw goes into. And when I measured it, I had a on the old one, I had a um, basically a three and sixteenths, three and two eighths of an inch from the bottom of that to the bottom from the bottom of the pulley to the bottom of your uh, shaft but I forgot which way I installed the pulley so I so I had the pulley I actually had to pull the right way the, the second time here but I had it in the wrong slot so now I have it uh, in the right side it should just sit basically flush in there Okay, it should sit basically like that. Um, also, before you bolt everything on, make sure it's around that pulley because you won't be able to slide it on. I found that out the hard way just a second ago. So, looks like I'm in from here. Okay, uh, <clears throat> I just finished up. Getting the thing tuned up. Um, I actually had to grab the float out of this sole car. Got the supper pellet working good. I'll just quick uh, fire it here.
So, good to go. 140 bucks and change, and I got a basically a new two-stroke. So, that is all.